Hey family, Jack Frost here. Hey, I'm outside Hardburger Park. You guys can see through the moon roof and behind me some pretty cool looking greenery. And I uh, hope you're out and about doing something you love to do today. And uh, hope that this message will flow through the airwaves, the internet, through time and find you and realize that uh, coronavirus is not going to kill us. Well, not all of us. It's going to kill some of us. And that's the hard fact about flu and viruses and uh, bacteria is that, yeah, some people will die. And uh, that's the unfortunate thing of life is that uh, none of us are getting out alive, truly. But I woke up this morning and thought, I don't want to work. I don't want to go to AA. I don't want to do Jack Diddley. So I thought, okay, drive to the park and see what's happening and, and get out of yourself if you can and, and move on. And So I thought, I've been asked several times, and I thought about this, that who am I to answer any questions about what, you know, how you're going to escape corona, uh, COVID-19 coronavirus. And reality is, is that a lot of us are going to get it whether we take the best precautions or not. Social distancing, wear the mask, wash your hands, don't touch your face, use hand sanitizer, uh, try and stay out of uh, close encounters with the strange kind of people or even family, stay out of those if you can in distance. Um, is it airborne? Yes. Is it droplet uh, where you capture it, breathe it in? Yes. Can you touch it and get it? Yes. Uh, there's a lot of information out there, a lot of misinformation, but uh, if you can get out to nature, if you can get outside, if you can breathe and enjoy, uh, even if it's just sitting somewhere like I am and uh, talking to yourself or someone else, uh, get out, don't isolate, and move on. I want to read a vision for you, tie this into our beautiful program, and if you'll apply it to the corona, there might be some application, so bear with me. I'm reading from my little blue big book that's uh, my mobile lifesaver literally I'm on page 164 Alcoholics Anonymous our book is meant to be suggestive only we realize we know only a little God will constantly disclose more to you and to us if we ask him ask him in your morning meditation what you can do each day for the man or woman who is still sick the answers will come if your own house is in order but obviously you cannot transmit something you don't have, you haven't got. See to it that your relationship with him is right, and great events will come to pass for you and countless others. This is the great fact for us. Abandon yourself to God as you understand God. Admit your faults to him and to your fellows. Clear away the wreckage of your past. Give freely of what you find and join us. We shall be with you in the fellowship of the Spirit, and you will surely meet some of us as you trudge the road of happy destiny. May God bless you and keep you until then. And so basically I'm going to say, yeah, coronavirus may chase your ass down and whack you. But stats are getting better in the U.S. and across the world. And uh, will there be a cure or will there be a vaccine? I don't know. Nobody knows that, obviously. I mean, God knows. My God knows. Uh, in due time, we'll pass on beyond this, and uh, we'll face another crisis. But that's part of trudging the road of happy destiny, is you got to be grateful for what you've got, and don't fear what's not there. Peace. Love you.